The next question asks us, what is the height of the elevator when the box is at its maximum height? Okay, so let's redraw that quickly. So we have the elevator is going upwards. During the time that the elevator is going upwards, the box was dropped. It was going upwards and then started falling downwards. Okay, so when the box reached its maximum height, the elevator was still moving upwards. So when the box reached its um, height, the elevator was not accelerating downwards because it was moving at a constant velocity upwards, so it was somewhere higher. And we want to know how high was that one above the ground when the box reached its maximum height. So what we are going to have to calculate is what was the displacement, this displacement that it had during this first few seconds that the box was still traveling upwards and reached its maximum height. Once we have that displacement, we in the previous question calculated how high it was off of the ground when the box was dropped. So since in the previous question we have this height, and in this question we are going to calculate that height, add the two together and we will get how high the elevator was off the ground when the box reached its maximum height. So, what do we know about this part of the journey for the elevator? Well, one thing that we are going to need is the time. The time it took for the box to reach its maximum height. And that we worked out in our first question was 0, 0,2 seconds. So we know it was 0, 0,2 seconds. Then what do we also know about this journey for the elevator? Well, we know that the elevator was traveling at a constant velocity. Let's read it again. A box falls from an elevator that is ascending at 2 meters per second. It's traveling at a constant velocity of 2 meters per second. Now that is all that we need in order to calculate delta x when we have a constant velocity. Since acceleration does not apply, we can see that this is constant velocity is equal to change in displacement over change in time. Constant velocity, once we substitute, was 0, comma, sorry, not 0, comma 2, 2 meters per second. change in displacement divided by change in time was 0, 0,2 seconds. Now all we need to do is multiply both sides with 0, 0,2 to get x on its own. Once we do that we find that the change in displacement is equal to 2 times 0, 0,2 is 0, 0,4 meters. Zero comma four meters is the displacement of the elevator during the time that the box reached its maximum height. The question, however, asks us what is the height of the elevator when the box is at its maximum height? So the box is now at its maximum height. The elevator is now at this height. So we want to know what is the total height which simply means we need to take this displacement and add it to the 0, 0,4 that we just calculated. What is that displacement? Well, that is simply the displacement that the box, uh, sorry, the height of the elevator when the box was dropped. And that is what we calculated in question B. How far from the bottom of the shaft was the box when it fell off the elevator? In other words, that height. We calculated in the previous question and we came to an answer of 5.88 meters, which means the height of the elevator is 
is 5 comma 8 8 plus 0 comma 4 meters and that is simply 6.28 meters when the box is at max height Brr, ran out of space <laughs> I think you get the idea thank you for watching see you in the next video